vibrations As I drift off the sea Knowing my heart won't let me slow down for long Cause I wear it on my sleeve I traveled for a long time and I've stayed in lots of hostels and most of them don't seem to care so much for the hospitality side of things um, because it's a lower price bracket. So it's essentially what I've tried to do here at the Florida Bay House is to create a place where people feel at home and um, enjoy staying here and they're just not, they're not passed off like a number or something. And that's why I call it the like, Flutter by House, not the hostel. The things that make Flutter by House really special is the fact that uh, you're actually sleeping in a tree house. So it's like Peter Pan, never ending story, never growing up. Um, it's also got an amazing garden full of natural plants that, you know, um, it's just beautiful. It gives a really nice zen energy to the place and lots of places just to relax and, and be still, which is really nice when you're traveling. It's very true that it is a hostel by the sea. Um, the environment here at the Flutterby is so lively, inviting, and I also feel I get very creative and artsy here. This gives you a place that you can actually feel free to paint a wall here or decide to make a mobile and they'll hang it up. The staff here are also travelers, so I find that rather than being um, separate, they almost add to the atmosphere. They're like um, having your friends around, they know what you need, um, they're really helpful and friendly, and uh, they really make it a special place. So our tree houses are kind of scattered through the property to try and create space. They're perfect for, we've had lots of honeymooners here who you know, are in the honeymoon suite and I um, just think it's awesome to sleep up in a tree and they have their own hammocks and you know mosquito nets and Christmas lights and it, it looks, I think people really enjoy it. Our cabinas, we range from like a double bed with your own front porch and hammock and stuff to um, bigger cabinas have a double bed and a bunk bed so it's all, all on a mango plantation so there's plenty of shade and lots of good camping spots around. And then our dormitories are treehouse-esque. They're up on the second stories and rustic like everything else. We've handmade everything. So I initially came to Ibiza um, to volunteer with Envision and um, I was almost a bit bummed about spending two weeks in one small place but I found that there's an abundance of things to do here from waterfalls to beautiful beaches, um, mountains and I've found now that two weeks just isn't enough so I think I'll be returning here on my travels one day. Ibiza is a really amazing part of the planet to check out and so we try and create a home base for people to be able to explore all the surrounding areas. We are about five minutes walking to the beach, which is the National Park. The National Park is a marine sanctuary, so most of it's underwater, obviously. This is where the whales come to give birth, and that's why they made it a park. But there's also a land formation that's a reef that you can walk to and snorkel. And um, it's about a half an hour walk from here. If you're looking to learn how to surf, this beach is especially good for that because it's a sand bottom, it's a super gradual slope so you get long rollers coming in so there's plenty of time to figure out standing up and, um, and it's a five minute walk from here to the beach so you can grab a board out of the rack and walk down there and try your hand at surfing. Well we just had best fest number one and it was two days of amazing music and camping and like a true festival. It's, it's really exciting that that's happening in this area. Um, in a week and a half we have the second one which is Envision which has been going on for I believe three years now and that's here in Bahia. It's just on the other side of the whale's tail. Pam and Kim have also done a beautiful job with the sustainability here and what they have already done and what they plan to do as well in the future for solar panels or anything further like that. 
is really impressive and makes you feel good that you are keeping your footprint small here as you travel and give back to this little place called the Flutterby.